you called it a you called it a shared vision for these communities. So dig into that a little bit with regards to um, what that means, because I'm curious what active means, 55 and better means, and kind of how it all fits together when you're putting these communities. Yeah, communities yeah, yeah. and I, I think you're spot on in the sense um, kind of there are these different spaces and options for community living, whether it is a traditional rental, conventional apartment home, um, has a cool pool, might have ping pong, might have um, a you know, great gym, all those things, which we do as well. The difference between that and maybe an active adult community is those people might be 25 to 45 and spending a lot more time at work. Mm -hmm. And they're not investing as much in that community because work and their other friends or their family, I know you have a small child, you, you should spend time with them. That's a good priority. Um, you know, so it's a different kind of chapter in your life. And then traditional senior living has things like buses and, and meal plans and um, more care and, and that kind of thing. And they, they're they great for if you need that. But there's this big gap in the middle of very active people who are living their best life. And something like a set meal time is not exciting for them, right? They're still cooking their own. For me, I... I eat some weird things. I, I love green juices. I'm not going to be eating chicken. Like, so that's not going to fit my lifestyle too. And what I kind of talk about a lot is 55 is young. It's really young. And I'll, I'll say like, uh, who is it? Julia Roberts and Daniel Craig, they are 55, right? So they could live in our communities. They don't, but they could live in our communities and, <laughs> and they don't need meal plans, right? You think about maybe the average age, 65 to 75. And, and again, I always kind of spitball, um, celebrities because people can understand that that a little bit better but um sharon stone and alec baldwin 65 so they, they might be around our average age or elton john he is over our average age he was selling out concerts in carnegie hall and all these places last year he doesn't need those things right he's active martha stewart 81 she's got a cooking show with snoop dogg you know right. um so just think about that and and one of the things that all of those people also have in common, not to mention they're famous, but is that they have things they're passionate about and they're doing them. So they have that purpose-driven life. They're either making music, they're doing cooking shows, they're doing these things. Um, and we want to catch all of, all of the humans at that 55 and better age to make sure that they have that purpose to keep them young because there's almost um, a switch, if you will, if you're just kind of, and now I go to dinner at five every Wednesday. Yeah. You know, it's just this mental shift. Yeah, and absolutely. so it's this very exciting time to be like, there's a new option and we're cognizant from a science, from a health factor, all these different things to make sure that we're plugging in to this and surrounding them with a lot of um, opportunities for socialization. Like we're talking about just living together. So they have that, they have that space, they have that community um that it's a, a neat space for them to kind of thrive in and do their own thing because it's a fabulous apartment that looks just as gorgeous as the other one down the street so you're not lacking for anything you know um but it, you have your peers so again it's so similar to the mm. the college that you brought up at the beginning mm.